Hello everyone and welcome to the A10 Network's App-Centric Templates video series. In this video, we will look at what the App-Centric Templates, also known as ACT, are. We will look at some of the main components of App-Centric Templates that you may find across different product lines, how we can access the App-Centric Templates, and how we can go about upgrading or downgrading the AppCentric Templates versions. The AppCentric Templates are a wizard-based installation and management tool. This tool can be used to easily and quickly deploy different services on different A10 Networks product lines. The configurations generated by the AppCentric Templates are based on recommended best practices by A10 Networks. The AppCentric templates have informative dashboards for different product lines and different services on those product lines. These dashboards work with the configurations generated using the wizard, but if you have existing deployments, the configuration for which was done using the CLI or the GUI, we have the option of custom dashboards. With custom dashboards, you can actually pinpoint to certain services on your A10 Thunder devices and create charts and tiles specific to your needs. More information on custom dashboards is available in a separate video. On the AppCentric templates, we also provide for advanced configuration options. These are options separate from the wizard. The wizard is mainly concerned with the basic configuration that will get your device started However, if you want to add specific advanced features, you will have to go to the configuration options where you can manipulate different settings on your A10 Thunder device. The AppCentric templates are available on ACOS versions 4.1 OP8 and onwards. Now that we know what the AppCentric templates are, let's look at how we can access the AppCentric templates. To access the AppCentric templates, we will go to the traditional ACOS GUI and enter our credentials. Upon logging in, we will be taken to the main dashboard screen. Here, if we go to system, under there, we have the app template option. If we click on the app template option, we are taken to the app-centric templates. Once logged in, I can look at the left sidebar and I can see the different app templates available to me on this device. Now that we know how to access the AppCentric templates, let's look at how we can change the version of the existing AppCentric templates installed on the device. This can be done in two different ways. We can either upgrade or downgrade the AppCentric templates version using the ACOS web UI, or we can use the AppCentric templates setting tab. The AppCentric templates settings tab is available only on newer version of AppCentric templates. Since I'm running an older version, you can see that we don't have any settings option over here. Therefore, we will have to use the ACOS web UI option to upgrade the AppCentric templates. We can go back to the web UI. Here in the system section, we have the app template import option. Upon clicking the select file button, you are given an option to select a certain file. I'm going to use a newer version of the AppCentric templates and upgrade. Upon upgrading, I'm given an option to jump to the new AppCentric templates. Here you can see that I have the settings option and I have a bunch of different AppCentric templates. Now for the second method of upgrading the AppCentric templates, we can click on the settings option where we are taken to the template settings page. Here you can select a newer version from the drop down menu. Please note that you are given two options at the bottom of the page. The first one is to download the AppCentric templates so that you can use it to manually upgrade to this exact version in the future. You are also given the option to click update. Upon clicking update, the AppCentric template version selected above will automatically be installed from the cloud and you will be ready to use the AppCentric templates. That's it for this video. Thank you for joining us and stay tuned for more.